Dick Plow is a near mythic singer songwriter born in Cacophony, Texas. Known as the Cacophony Cowboy, the Devil's Drinking Buddy, and most famously, the Sidewinder. After the rattlesnake known to traverse the West in its own peculiar manner, it's also known to be mean, venomous, and nocturnal. The parallels to Dick are many. The lines between truth and fiction are blurry. Stories of his epic performances are equal to those of no shows. The motor's getting punched in the face. Full bars getting drunk by the band. Recruiting housewives to leave their husbands and join the road debauchery. The lore is endless. Born to sharecroppers, Dick left home the day he got out of school with just an acoustic guitar and a hunger to play his songs. After numerous run-ins with the law, a failed Vegas marriage, and tough years kicking around with his fledgling band, The Tractors, lightning struck at an outdoor performance in Tuscaloosa, where a talent scout's car had broken down just outside. Some say it was coincidence, but those who know Dick don't believe in such a thing. The captive audience member was floored and signed the group immediately. He was quoted as saying, This is the new raw sound country needs. This is the future, but also the past. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's timeless. However, the high didn't last very long. Dick was aggressively against the production direction for his debut album. The label tried to smooth the edges of his sound to constant disapproval of the musicians involved. They even went as far as coaxing him to sing a song that was essentially an advertisement for the brand of chicken wire the conglomerate had just purchased. Plow was furious. Late in an August evening, after a particularly brutal session, Plow broke into the record company's vault and stole all copies of the recording. When he was arrested for the theft, he claimed to have tossed the pressings into the Rio Grande. After years in jail for his crimes against Music Row, Dick came out a new man bitter about his experience in the industry. Hardened by his time, his new music reflected it. He left the slick sounds of Nashville behind and vowed to never record again, saying, music has to be live. That's where the hearts are. He has spent the last few decades touring juke joints and honky-tonks all over the country speaking directly to a common man. But in the past few years, his debut recordings appear to have circulated on the internet, where a small batch of country diehards expressed their admiration for his music. One band from Chicago was lucky enough to get in contact with the elusive Mr. Plow, even convincing him to perform at an upcoming concert. Here's their story. Dick Plow was the original outlaw of country music. Dick Plow and the Tractors changed everything for lunatics. I mean, think of a song like Ben's Living. This bass line. That wouldn't exist without Dick Plow. And, and to be honest, I, I, I had to really get into his mind and really walk in his shoes uh, to create that, you know, psychic bond that is necessary uh, to, to, to even try to tackle, you know, some kind of music like this. When I first heard the guitar playing of Keaton Lee Quinn, I knew that that was the instrument for me. Folks used to call him the mumbler. He would play so fast the notes would all blur together you couldn't hardly tell what they were. It's great that you're influenced by t Tickle and Tom. I mean, he's he's the pro. He's the expert. Uh, he's definitely the... Uh, 
he he makes the band. You would say that. Well, what, if you could sum it up in one sentence, why does he make the band? Well, you know, he uh, he he brings a degree of unpredictability. Dick Plow didn't take too kindly when I told him via carrier pigeon he'll never be as good as one take Joe. Now chugga chugga new shoes, best train beat this side of the Mississippi. Never could get it down myself. Who would you be without Tom? A piece of shit in the gutter. Okay. Who are you with Tom? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Tom and I both have, uh, we got two things in common. We both play the keys, and we're both not allowed in Massachusetts. What did Tom do that got him barred from Massachusetts? Uh, I'm legally not allowed to, to, to speak on that. Were you involved? No. No. You know, I was a fly on the wall in the room where it happened. So, Ryan, what kind of impact has Dick Plow had on you and your music? Well, um, I mean, it's monumental. I mean, Dick Plow was hugely important for me. I mean, if it wasn't for him, uh, I never would have got this hat. Dick Plow's voice and songs captured the truth of what it means to be an American. Longing, heartbreak, confusion, revolution, love and hate, he truly embodies it all. His lyrics are gospel to some, and his incredible band, long since retired from the road, built music that could be both propulsive and lilting to match those powerful words. His now mythic performances are fiery and emotional, sometimes launching into drunken tirades against the commercialization of country music, sometimes giving the small audience a rare look at what true American music is. Dick's not always reliable to perform, but when he does, magic happens. To avoid legal ramifications, as suggested by our lawyer, the unreleased debut album cannot be shared here today. However, we have unearthed the rare, forgotten live performance on the radio program, The West Peculiar Sunday Night Serenade, now heard by your ears for the very first time. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Plow and the tractors. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for coming out tonight. I'm your humble host, Lefty Larson, here to bring to you the West Peculiar Sunday Night Serenade. Now, tonight's show is brought to you by our gracious sponsors, Baboon Heart Productions. And boy, do we have a great show planned for you here tonight with plenty of variety. But first, we're going to start you off with something real special. Now, I want you all to give it up for the hot and slick licks of his band, The Tractors. Oh, folks. But now for the star of the evening. It's been hard to get him out, but we got him here for you tonight. He might steal your heart, but he'll definitely steal your wife. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for country and western recording legend, Dick Blau! Well, he might be hard of hearing, but we need y'all to get a little bit louder for my good friend, Dick Blau! Coming out. 